What we need to do now is find out what the IP address is of our PBX. Uh, I've already gone ahead and done that. Uh, so I'm going to open up a web browser and go to HTTPS forward slash forward slash 192.168.110.210. And this is going to bring me to my PBX. Uh, it's going to send me an error message about the certificate. That's okay. Click continue. Um, so now I'm on the PBX, um, but you'll see you get a notice up here. Uh, we do need to complete an installation process. So go ahead and click on this link, uh, Installation Setup. And it's going to ask you to log in. And the login is admin AST Linux. The first screen will ask you about your persistent storage options of whether you want a single or separate storage partition. I would recommend choosing the second option for a separate partition to keep things like voicemail and system settings separate from your operating system files. Depending on the size of your compact flash, the next option could vary. I would recommend doing at least 512 megabytes which would work fine on a 4 gig flash card. Now you can click Next to continue. Once you click Continue, it will initiate a system reboot, which can take from 3 to 4 minutes. You'll want to make sure that the timer at the top of the screen expires before going to the next step. I have sped the video up, so I would recommend you pressing pause while you wait for your system to come back up. Now that the timer has expired, I will press the Finish button on the screen. After pressing the Finish button, we will then be presented with another timer. This will again take anywhere between 3 to 4 minutes. Again, I have sped my video up, so I would recommend pressing pause while you wait for your system to come back online. Now you'll see we have uh, a message about no sounds being installed. Uh, what it's going to do is direct you to the system tab up here. Uh, you can just go ahead and click this link. And want to scroll down to where it says asterisk sound packages. Uh, and we want to install the core at least. Uh, and we have the different f uh, codec formats. Um, ULaw, and I'm going to go ahead and install 729. And then we have extra. I am only installing the G729 audio files in this video for speed but I would recommend installing both G729 and ULaw on your production system. Now let's just double check our system firmware is the latest. Okay, that's good. It is running the latest version. Now let's check the Runix is also running the latest version. Okay, looks like there is a newer version of Runix, so let's go ahead and update that now. Good, now we have the latest version of Runix as well. Let's go ahead and restart the system.